royalcaribbeanblog.com for plenty more Royal Caribbean news, information, fun, advice. Royalcaribbeanblog.com. Happy Monday, everybody. Thank you for joining us here. Every Monday, we are live with you right here talking about the most important thing in the whole wide world, which, of course, yes, is going on a Royal Caribbean cruise. Thank you for joining. My name is Matt, and we are hanging out today answering as many Royal Caribbean cruise questions as we can. But there's only one question that is truly the most important, and we're going to start off with that. And that is how many days until your next Royal Caribbean cruise? Type your countdown in chat. Let's count down together. Glad to have all of you on. Welcome, 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 one and all. Uh, appreciate you uh, saying hello already. Lots of friends already in our chat, even before we begin. Love that. Don Goldstein is here. Hello, Don. Becky Mankin from MEI Travel is here. Becky also has my countdown for me. So thank you for doing the math for me, Becky. 18 days. Till the navigator of the seas can't wait for that cruise. First time doing the uh, the uh, gosh, it's so good I can't even think of it. The Mexican Riviera. First time doing it. It's always nice when you get to do a new itinerary, something that's completely new to you. And that's what we've got here. I mean, I've been on Navigator, but I've never done this itinerary, so I'm very very excited for that. Lots of countdowns in here. Um, we did have a question from Kelly Fiesel earlier, and Kelly, thank you for the super chat. Uh, Kelly wants to know. Uh, what if there is an issue with being unable to get tested before embarkation day or test results are for some reason delayed? Let's put it this way. If you show up to the terminal without a test, um, they're not going to let you on the ship. Now, Royal Caribbean is offering, Kelly, some very limited on-the-spot test options. This is not your primary option. This should not be like, oh, good, let's get our test done at the terminal instead of anything else. This is like a super backup option. But Royal Caribbean will allow you 24 hours before the cruise to make a reservation for a test at the cruise terminal. It's going to cost you, and it ain't cheap. So I have a little over $100, if memory serves me correctly. Um, and they can do a test over there. Number one, you're going to be wasting your time at the terminal waiting for the test results. And number two, it's going to cost you a lot more. So I would say, to answer your question, what you should do instead is uh, have maybe one or two options. Number First and foremost, if you are fully vaccinated, you should absolutely, positively, be getting the at-home test that Abbott sells uh, or provided by Abbott's emed.com has them optum has them these are the tests that royal caribbean sells this is the way to go um get the at-home test it's super easy super convenient the results are in about 15 minutes it's the way to go if you have unvaccinated children who cannot take the at-home test vaccinated children can but unvaccinated children cannot take the at-home test then the, obviously you may be aware royal caribbean is changing the policy to do a pcr test get that test test done exactly three days before the cruise. I mean, I would do it right in the morning on day three. Remember, if your cruise leaves on Sunday, you can do the test on either Saturday, Friday, or Thursday. I'd get it right on Thursday, if that makes sense. So thank you, uh, Kelly, for the super chat. And uh, Vincent Mono, I don't, I can't, your, miss, your super chat was so early, I can't even see it. But uh, thank you for your generosity. I appreciate it. All right. On to more questions uh, here. Brett is here. Brett, you know, I, haven't, I just want to say hi to Brett. I haven't said hi to Brett in a long time. 42 days on Navigator of the Seas. Looking forward to going over to your, your West Coast. Well, I'm really looking forward to being there. Not so much getting there, the whole flying thing, but excited. Tim Gallagher, what's going on? Welcome, Chuck. Come for your daughter, Chuck. What movie is that from? Come for your daughter, Chuck. Going on Allure next year for a honeymoon? Is it still worth it despite no application? Oh, Allure. Oh, yeah. No, it's an Oasis slash ship. You're going to love it. It's great. Christine Del Rossi watching live from Mariner of the Seas. Hope you're having a great time on there. Christmas and Thanksgiving together. It's a, uh, it's we'll, we'll be we'll be sipping cocoa together or something like that. Maybe not cocoa, perhaps a Mexican, the official drink of Mexico. Just saying, it's the responsible thing to do. Uh, let's see here, Vicky Belleville. Thank you for this. We have a lot of super chats. Holy moly! Uh, Vicky, Merry Christmas to you. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, Midnight Air wants to know what activities can we do for free on Odyssey of the Seas? Uh, there's a whole article, Midnight Air, that I have for you at royalcreamblog.com. There's a number of activities. There's a lot of activities that you can do, um, on the Odyssey of the Seas that are included. In fact, most activities are actually included and a lot of attention goes to the stuff that costs extra. But Midnight Air, I want you to check out this article that I'm posting in the chat right now with our Odyssey of the Seas guide that uh, will give you a really good uh, frame of reference for what activities are included 
uh, with your cruise. But obviously, you're going to have entertainment every night included. You're going to have uh, all the fun activities on the on the top deck uh, included as well. So there's plenty going on over there. We got to catch up with the super chats, guys. First of all, Eric Moyer checking in. My daughter's vaccine card is not uploaded to the state for validation. Will this be an issue for boarding? I don't think so. I don't know, quite frankly, Eric. I don't pretend to know what the uh, what the um, gosh, uh, what's the word? What, what what the back end process is to validate the vaccine cards? I but I, I just think that if you if your daughter got back va- that fully vaccinated, has the card to show it, I, I got to think that's that's fine. I, I you know I I just have not heard anything to, to the contrary. Let's put it that way. Uh, Betty Eakin with an amazing super chat. Woo! Thanks for all the suggestions. Uh, I don't know what I suggested, but you're very welcome. Thank you for the super chat. That is extremely generous of you. Thank you so much. Uh, David Alvarado coming in with a super chat as well. Thanks for all the great content. Thank you, David. I appreciate you. Matt Manuvich. Thank you, my friend. Great name as always. Matt wants to know with the at-home test, if you get it done and it unfortunately comes up positive, will they refund you for the cruise? Yes. Royal Caribbean has a policy that if you test positive at any point within 14 days of your sale date, you get a full refund or Royal Caribbean will rebook you for another sailing, whichever you prefer to do. But yes, you can get a full refund if that's the case. So don't feel like you have to lie about it or you're going to miss out on it. You know what I mean? Yeah, Chuck, that was Beetlejuice. Come for your daughter, Chuck. When Beetlejuice is talking to uh, uh, the 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 girl's dad. I don't remember any of the character's name. 12th Man Proud is here. What's up, 12th Man Proud? Jeff Rent. What's up, Jeff? Thank you for the super chat. Happy Hanukkah to you. How far out these days are the opening check-in? Uh, much closer to ch- to sailing. I think it's around 45 days or so, Jeff, if I remember correctly. Um, actually, you can, act- you can actually figure out the answer to your question very easily. What you want to do, Jeff, is go to the Royal Caribbean app, open up the app, go to your sailing, and then when you go to your sailing, I can do this, I can demonstrate this for you. When you go to your sailing, um, it'll say when check-in actually opens when you go to the check-in area. So I pick a cruise that's pretty far out there. Let's do this April cruise I've got. Uh, and you click on this, you click on this and it here, I'll just move this up there. Uh, check-in opens February 21st. So, uh, just do that and you'll have an idea of when check-in will open for your cruise. So, uh, next question is from Jack. First time in the chat. Welcome Jack. Uh, what online form would you be, would be good for starting a cruise line? One that can answer questions about the business side of the cruise industry. Well, you know, Jack, uh, I would certainly say that, I mean, any of the cruise industry, you know, focus forums, and we have a message board at royalcreamblog.com, it depends really what you're looking to get. Because after all, nearly any forum, number one, is dealing with mostly fans. Um, And most of the time, and I would say the vast majority, 90% or more of people on these forums are fans. They're not industry insiders. And if they are industry insiders, they're not sharing critical information about how the, the sausage is made, so to speak. So certainly you could pose your question on a message board. Just understand your audience that, you know, there aren't CEOs hiding on there. Maybe there are, I don't know. But, uh, you know, you could certainly do that. But I'm not sure there's a really good, depends on how in-depth you want your questions to be. But certainly I would start off with a great message board. We have a wonderful one at realcreamblog.com. Yeah, that's self-serving, but I'm all about the shameless plugs. You guys know that. So Kenny K, thank you for the super chat. Matt, Matt, Matt. Oh, I mean, Beetlejuice, right? There you go. Yeah, we love be anytime anybody comes in the chat with their name is Chuck. I gotta say that. It's the first thing that comes to mind. Lori wants to know what is the capacity on ships right now cruising explorer this Sunday? Uh they're right now a little over 50%. Lori, again, it depends on the ship, depends on the sailing. And yes, you know, Lori, real is not actually divulging the information until you actually get on board the ship. But it's somewhere in the ballpark, let's call it about 60% or so. And that may go up as we get closer to Christmas, because Royal Caribbean said that whatever they were doing for Thanksgiving, it was gonna be a little bit higher. For Christmas, so, uh, but not quite 100 percent full. Joe says, "I told a room steward and a bartender I left them a tip to guest services. Neither of them seem to have ever heard of it. How do I know if they got a tip from? Uh, I don't know what OCC is, but uh, interesting. Uh, number one, and f- future reference, I would not do what you did. Um, I would tip the person up front. I know you probably were like running off the ship. Gosh, I can't find so and so and so and so. Let me go to guest services so I can just give them the money because they deserve it." You're, you're, that, it's a very noble thought, but I, I don't, I can't explain the answer to your question. I would just simply say for next time, hand them the money directly. That's the way to take care of it. Um, I, I would never trust, and this is not offense, no offense to any crew member out there or anything else, but I would just say, 
tip the person in person uh, or, or, uh, or I guess it just doesn't happen. I make an effort to do it that way. That'd be my recommendation because I just, I, I certainly can't answer that question. I don't know what happened there, but I'm um, sorry to hear that it wasn't working out to get those people the gratuity that they deserved. Uh, Ethel Crawford, thank you for the super chat, Ethel. I appreciate it. It's good to see you. Welcome. I'll look for your question here in a minute. Uh, if Sometimes the super chats and the comments come separately here, but I will give it a shot. Uh, Megan Hayes, is this the Megan Hayes? The Megan Hayes with a certain friend that loves Dave Matthews Band? If not, it's another great Megan Hayes. Uh, starting to lay out my strategy to play Crown and Anchor game. If you bid and win a suite for a sailing instead of booking it outright, you still get the double points. You don't get the double points. You do get the cruise benefits. So you're on board the ship. You get the concierge lounge access or the suite lounge access and all that. Uh, but And you get the gold card and all that. But you don't actually get the double points because you didn't pay for the double points. So hope that makes sense. Ken wants to know, how is the nightlife bars during COVID times? Is it almost the same? It's pretty much almost the same. Everyone in there and all these places will be fully vaccinated. Um, and now that there's higher capacity, it starts to feel like a bar again and not like three people in a room, which is really nice. David Alvarado, thank you for the super chat. Woo! Thank you. What is my favorite thing to do in St. Thomas? By far, go to St. John's. Take a ferry over to St. John. It is absolutely beautiful over there. St. Thomas's beaches are great. St. John's better. St. John's beaches are better. Uh, it is really, really good. Love that quite a bit. Danny DiMatteo is here. Hello, Danny. Welcome. Nate wants to, can you please explain the type of screening that gets done at the terminal for an adult? Six days of oasis crossing our fingers. We can make it and not get canceled. You'll make it. I mean, I would hope you're going to make it, but you say screening. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Maybe you're going in this direction. When you get to the trip, you're going to have to show basically uh, three or four important things. Number one, your negative COVID test that you took within as an adult, fully vaccinated adult uh, within two days of your cruise. Number two, you're going to have to show your passport. Number three, you're going to have to show your CDC card that shows that you're fully vaccinated and it has been more than 14 days. Those are the three things you absolutely need. Of course, your check information, like in the Royal Caribbean app, your set sail pass, you could theoretically show up without that. But yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, Mr. Joe Mock. Woo! So good of a super chat. It's almost worth slapping your grandma for. In honor of our new granddaughter, Juliana, born 6.45 a.m. Mazel tov. Congratulations to the Mock family. Now, no issues flying out Saturday, Monday on Freedom. Uh, Saturday, Monday on Freedom. I don't know what that means. Uh, question my broker in Naples asked me for a vaccination card. Thought I had already done it. Just sleep deprivation. You could do it again. I I, <laughs> I mean, would it sh would it shock you, Joe, to hear that the Royal Caribbean app might not be 100% correct? But as long as, Joe, you go into the app, you go to the check-in, and you see the card, the value, you've uploaded your photos, you're good to go. Sometimes maybe one of the photos didn't get uploaded or whatever the case may be. But just, you know, double-check it. But more importantly, congratulations, Joe. My goodness. That is awesome news, man. Grandpa Joe. We love it. Uh, Amanda, thank you for the super chat. If I order a mocktail using the refreshment package, can I add alcohol to the mocktail for an upcharge or do I have to pay full price? Yeah, you got to pay full price. Um, They don't do it that way. It's not like, oh, Amanda, you bought the, the refreshment package. Here's five bucks off the drink. It doesn't work that way. You either order non-alcoholic. I mean, you could order a shot on the side and then pour it in. Just order the drink. Order the alcoholic drink. Or order the non-alcoholic drink. Don't try to mix the two, if that makes sense. I mean, you know what I mean. Uh, John, thank you for the super chat. Do you know what Broadway show will be on Wonder of the Seas? We do not. And what shows would you like to see on Wonder of the Seas? Oh, man. I mean, there's so many great Broadway shows that are out there. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a traditional Broadway fan. I like the classics. I want to see My Fair Lady or Hello, Dolly. I would love to see those on there. I know that's not, probably not winning any. I mean, it's not, it's not winning a popularity contest, but I like the tried and true ones as opposed to the new fangled ones from the 90s. Um, I just like the, I like the, the songs that, as my mom says, you hum along to, uh, Steven Z has an interesting question. Have you heard of Royal Caribbean will continue the, its support for make a wish? We haven't seen anything on four ships we've been on thus far. Um, I know Royal Caribbean obviously is very, has a very deep relationship with, uh, the world wildlife federation, um, world wildlife fund. That was a different federation, WWF. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, in terms of make a wish, I don't know one way or another. Um, Steven, I don't have any reason to believe they don't. Maybe they don't advertise it as much for privacy reasons. I, I don't know the answer. It's an excellent question. I've not gotten that one before. Mike Pastore is here. Hello, Mike. It's good to see you. I am still like really far behind in the super chats. We got to catch up here. Everybody, these people that donated money, they deserve to get a thank you it, within a timely manner. Shannon, thank you for the super chat. Have you experienced any good excursions with animals? My kid was sad about losing swimming with stingrays in Antigua. Um, 
we haven't done a ton of animal encounter uh, excursions. I remember we did a bus tour in Barbados. It wasn't a, that wasn't the point of like an animal encounter was not part of the excursion, but we stopped on the side of the road and we fed, and my kid fed a monkey, which was kind of like, okay, cool. Um, I hear a lot of good things about the swimming with pigs that you can do while you're at Coco Key or Nassau. That one has gotten pretty good reviews. There's also the dolphins things. Uh, Blue Lagoon, Shannon, might be the place to do it, actually. I think about it. In Nassau, Blue Lagoon offers a number of animal encounters. That might be your best option there. Ah, onboard cruise credit. Okay. That's that. Okay. Well, I, yeah, usually people are at FCC, not OCC, but um, yeah, I, or onboard credit. I understand now. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. We're, we're on the same page now. Thank you, Jose. Uh, Matt Rierick, thank you for the super chat. Woo. Good evening, Matt. Great name, by the way. Thank you. You as well. Thanks for keeping us updated. 116 Days of Symphony. 114. Did we start drive down to Pittsburgh? Awesome. Will wants to know, can you change your reservation from refundable to non-refundable to save money after booking? You can. I've done this a couple of times. You know, I always book refundable cruise fare just to be safe. And a couple of times, like right before final payment, my travel agent is like, you know, if you change it to non-refundable right now, you'll save like a bunch of money. Clearly, you're going on the cruise. And I'm like, okay, why not? So, yes, you absolutely can. Tom in the house. What's up, Tom? Woo! Thank you for the super chat. If I booked a guaranteed outside state room and they put you in a junior suite, do you get double points? I got an email telling me that on Vision of the Seas, I've been put in a junior suite. Ooh, ah, uh, that I would have. Ooh, I don't. Hmm, I don't know. See, initially I would say no because you didn't pay for a junior suite, but this is not a royal up situation. This is a guarantee. So this is this is a, a not a common scenario. But when you book a guarantee room, what it really means is. They guarantee you that level or higher. So if you book a balcony guarantee, or in Tom's case, Tom, by the way, go play the lottery right now. Um, he booked a outside, I think, is that a balcony or just an ocean view? But it, you know, it guarantees that or higher, and he actually got higher, which is fantastic. But you didn't pay, um, but you didn't. I don't know. My, my gut actually tells me yes, but I've never, I don't know. I've never encountered that kind of situation. It's an excellent question. Tom. I don't know. Has anyone ever encountered this kind of situation? My, my, my gut tells me yes, but, uh, I I'm not a hundred percent sure. I mean, you, you didn't roll up. If you roll up to junior suite, no, but you didn't like, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. John Grichowski. What's up, man? Thank you for the super chat on quantum out of Vancouver to Hawaii, October 22. Will the food be more geared towards North America, or does that ship always have mostly Asian food? Uh, what are we talking about again? Quantum? Well, it's a good question, John. Quantum was supposed to come over to the United States, obviously, as you all know, because with Alaska, that didn't happen because of COVID. Um, usually, when ships come over to North America, they un asiafy them in terms of the cuisine. They, they bring them, make it more North, Amal North American friendly in terms of the cuisine on there. Um, and certainly, Quantum, uh, you know... It, let me backtrack for a second. When Ovation of the Seas did the same thing, Ovation started out in China, came over and start, now does North America and Australia. You know, they brought that back in line. So I would expect it to be more like other ships in the fleet in terms of North American cuisine and not, you know, they'll, they'll maybe take away some of the casino gaming space, which they would have dedicated over in China. Um, but there shouldn't be that much of a, 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 of a change right there. So... JP wants to know how is the Voom internet? It really depends on the ship. This is something that unfortunately I've 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 quit complaining about because there's no point. Royal Caribbean calls Voom, which is the name for its onboard Wi-Fi, Voom on every single ship. But every single ship, it's not the same speeds. It depends on the ship. Some ships, Odyssey, Harmony, Oasis, the internet is really good. Other ships, Mariner, Navigator, Brilliance, it's really bad. And bad when I say bad. I mean, it's really slow for anything that's more than just basic web browsing. Video is really bad. It can, you know, it just it's just more like old school ship internet, unfortunately. So it depends on the ship, quite frankly. Jason Rivas, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it. Selling on Oasis this February with young kids who will not be vaccinated. Is there an issue with getting them off for excursions? Depends on the port. Some ports, yes. Some ports, no, Jason. It depends on the port you're visiting. You're going to have to refer to Royal Caribbean's uh, protocols for that one. Uh, I remember in St. Kitts, that would that would have been a problem. In St. Thomas, I don't remember if it was or not. Other ports, they're, they're less, they, it doesn't matter as much. So, Cozumel is an example, they didn't care. Um, so it depends on the port you're visiting and what the country's rules are. 
So refer to the protocols. And of course, as you're probably aware, Jason, I mean, you're going February, things can change but between now and February. So just keep an eye on that. Ethel, thank you for the super chat. We're on Saturday in eight days. Hope the wind jammer is open for dinner. These days, most of the ships are over 50% capacity. I'd be pretty surprised if it wasn't over. I'd be rather surprised if the wind jammer wasn't open for dinner, quite frankly. So uh, next question is from Shandalmati. Can you go to the Cocoa Beach Club restaurant two or three times during your daily pass and order more than one main course there? Or is it just once at lunchtime and one meal per person? Basically one meal per person. Number one, the hours are limited. Number two, there's limited capacity. So they got to make sure everyone gets an opportunity to get in there. So they're pretty busy. It's not like they have open space. I mean, could you go in again? And if there was an open table, I, I don't know that they would say no to you. Quite frankly, I think you're over, you're underestimating the amount of food you will get in one sitting. And guys, in chat, if you've been to the Cocoa Beach Club restaurant, please tell Shand Almaty that it is, you're not leaving hungry over there. There is a ton of food you are getting and you can order more than one entree, more than one appetizer. You go to town on that. So yeah, you're not, you're not going to be hungry over there. No doubt about it. All right. A lot of people loving my fair lady. Miss Ju Superstarian is here. Hello, Ashley. It's good to see you. The Teresa McChain checking in 18 degrees here today. It's going to be a long 53 days till our next cruise. Hope you had a great, great time. Tom's going to on Harmony this Sunday. Where's the best snorkeling in Nassau? Ooh, I have no idea. I'm not a snorkeler. Does anybody have any good recommendations for snorkeling for Tom in Nassau? Dawn's going on a 12-day cruise this Sunday. Anthem of the Seas out of New Jersey. I think I saw somewhere there'll be COVID test halfway through. Did you hear anything on this? Um, just for kids, unvaccinated kids, they'll get a test. Don, if you're fully vaccinated, this will not apply to you. But if there are uh, unvaccinated children, yes. They have to get a test after, I believe, five days. They'll 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 let you know. Trust me. Uh, we had this when we were on Harmony of the Seas. Our kids had to get one for a seven night cruise, and they they communicate all the information you need. Okay, on this day, you're gonna have to go between these hours to go over there. It's not too bad at all. So, uh, Brianna or Bre Brenna, not Brianna. I'm sorry, Brenna. Uh, how about Wicked on Wonder? You know, everyone loves Wicked. I don't have a problem with Wicked. I mean, I'm you know, I want to be popular just like anybody else. And I want to, um, uh, gosh, I can't think of the other song. I don't know. This joke's over. Um, I'm just trying to think the, the, the price of every, every show has a price and the newer, more popular shows are going to cost more than I think older established shows. I could be wrong on that, but, uh, I wonder if you guys, I think the problem with wonder or with wonder, the problem with wicked is that I'm not mistaken. The set is rather complex. Um, that might be an issue. Tai Wu Lee coming in with a super chat. Thank you, Tai Wu Lee. Hey, JC coming in here. Hello, JC. It is good to see you. Hi, Matt. I was on Mariner in November and had a junior suit with my 86 year old mother. We didn't think the room or dining room staff were great, as in the past, not bad, but not worth the extra tip. Still gave. And that's what, listen, number one, you know this already. The gratuity is the gratuity is the gratuity. It's just part of the cruise cost. I'm sorry to hear that wasn't the case. Here's what I would tell you, though, JC. And it depends on what your gripes are, certainly. But I, I hope that, you know, if there's an issue, if you see, you know what? this could be improved or that's an issue or something like that, you know, make sure you let them know about it, you know, and talk to your waiter, talk to your head waiter and say, listen, I'm a little disappointed. You know, I'm not mad. I'm not angry. I'm not irate, but I think that there, this is lacking in this area. JC, I was on a, uh, I think it was Oasis of the seas and we're having dinner with our, with our, with our kids. We were eating in the main dining room. And then the first two nights were great. No problems. And then like a night or two in the third, fourth night, something like that. All of a sudden, the service slowed down to a crawl. And I was telling my wife, and I was like, something's wrong. Like, oh, we're, we're sitting here forever waiting for stuff. And this wasn't the problem a couple of nights before that. And we started looking around, watching our waiter, and we saw that he was running between more tables than he was before. Turns out they were throwing more tables at him. Um, people were coming in from my time. And I, this is not his fault. This is whoever's divvying up tables. So I told the main diner, I asked to speak to the head waiter, and I pointed this out. And I said politely, no offense, this is wrong. You're this is unfair to the waiter because now he or she now has to have double duty and run between. Meanwhile, everybody else is being penalized, and we're having a negative experience, which is gonna reflect poorly on our waiter, which is not his fault to begin with. Next night, no mains, no, no extra tables for that waiter. He was back to normal. And I, I think that's important to bring that up. So I appreciate the feedback. I'm glad he had a good time overall, but it's always important to, you know, it's okay to give that feedback either in person or, of course, in that post-cruise survey. Let them know what you think they could do better on that one. Uh, our next question is from Nalida. Who's going, I, hope I did not pronounce that right. 
Nalita, three-day Christmas cruise on Freedom is real. We have a big celebration for Christmas. On Christmas Day, if you're actually cruising on the day of Christmas 25th, yeah, they have a lot of different things uh, happening on there. You'll have a great, great time. Uh, Brenna, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate that. Debbie, I finally set, I caught a live, I set an alarm. 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, 4.30 Pacific on Mondays. I'm usually uh, over here. Michelle, that's a really good point. Going back to that question earlier, you just can't switch from non-refundable back to refundable, but you can absolutely go from refundable to non-refundable. Yep, very, very good point. I should have mentioned that earlier. Thank you for that clarification. Shantra Williams, hello and welcome. Landon wants to know, do the crew members tell you to put your mask on inside if you're walking but drinking? Yes, that's not allowed, Landon. If you look at the protocols that Royal Caribbean has, it says you must be stationary and sitting while drinking. That whole, that whole, uh, People thought very early on, oh, I'll just hold a drink constantly in my hand and then I'll have to wear a mask anywhere on the ship. No, number one, that's, you know, that's wrong. Number two, that's not in the, that's not what the rules say. It says specifically that you must be, uh, I'm paraphrasing here, but you can look it up, Landon. Uh, actually, it's on realcoreanblog.com. I just wrote about this. Some of the new rules there, not new rules, but um, yes, here it is. So mask required to be, and this is verbatim now. Masks are required to be worn while indoors on board the ship unless seated and actively eating and drinking. Seated and actively. So not walking around with your drink. Now, certainly, Landon, if you're walking around, you want to take a sip, just put the mask back on. That's, that's totally fine as well. So just want to make sure that's that's crystal clear. Uh, Marcos says, hey, buddy, just put my second cruise with Mariner this season for eight days in Bermuda. For August, my fans say love the first cruise. She loved it. Fantastic. Love hearing that's really, really great to hear. Uh, Ashley wants to know: do you have to pay for tender tickets to get on a tender boat? No. If you're if your ship is tendering, nope, it's free to get on there and go wherever you need to be going on there. So you are good to go. We're so far behind in the super chats. Chuck, thanks for uh Chuck Egg Our Law. I love the names. Come to your daughter, Chuck. Thank you for the Euros. Appreciate it. How is Royal Caribbean with international passengers in the US traveling from Europe? Next year, will vaccination cards from Europe countries be accepted? Yes, they will, because we've already had a number of international uh, visitors come here already. And where can EU passengers get tested in the U.S.? Um, to go back home, Royal Caribbean will give you a test on board the ship. Uh, if you need a test, to, like when you get to the United States, the airport is the most convenient option. There are testing options in all the airports. Look up the airport. You know, just Google whatever airport you're flying into. You know, John F. Kennedy Airport, Miami International Airport, space, COVID testing, and make an appointment for one of those. And that'll probably be your easiest you know, if you're flying across the Atlantic, the last thing you want to do is start hopping in taxis to go find some other place to get a test. Just get it done in the airport and have it done with. You know what I mean? So, hey, Money Love is on board the Oasis right now. Internet is fine. And Oasis is one of those ships that has really good internet on there. So, absolutely. Uh, our next super chat comes to us from one of our best friends, our BFFs here on YouTube. It is Sharon Stockman. Thank you, Sharon. I called Crown and Anchor since I'm Diamond Plus. I can be a check-in on Sunday, 30 minutes early cruise week. So excited. Fantastic. David Alvarado wants to see Jersey Boys on Wonder of the Seas. I'll tell you that my wife would love that. I don't think that'll ever happen, David. Well, not ever, but don't forget, I believe Norwegian Cruise Line has Jersey Boys on one of its ships. Keep me honest, guys, if that's not the case, but I believe that is the case. Joe Ann Griffith, thank you for the super chat. Joanne writes, hi, Matt. I'm getting a female puppy in January. We'd like to give her a cruising name. Oh, would and we'd like to give her a cruising name. Any ideas? What do you guys think is a great name? A cruise-inspired name for a puppy. Uh, you got to, uh, <laughs> I always joke, you have to think of the when the dog is being bad, the name, like you have to yell the name and it make, it's, you know, can't be like bad oasis, bad oasis. No, that doesn't make any sense. Windjammer. Not the worst name I've heard. Jammer? How about Jammer. Jammer's a great name for a dog. I might say that. That's my suggestion. Maybe our chat is a little more creative than I am on that one. So uh, maybe that'll work out for you. Oh, uh, Brett has a recommendation going back to uh, Tom's question about snorkeling. Uh, did a great snorkeling tour with sharks. I don't know if the word great and snorkeling with sharks belong together, but I digress. Uh, via, via tour, appreciate that. I'm not sure it's still an option. Thank you, Brett, for the recommendation. Um, do, 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 do. Jade, thank you for this. I am so far behind the chat. Holy moly. Jade, thank you for the super chat. Do all adults have to be vaccinated? Yes. Um, if you're above the age of 12 on Royal Caribbean, you must be fully vaccinated and have had your last shot for at least 14 days ago to be, or to be able to go on the cruise. Booster shots don't count. Doesn't matter. It's good if you have it, but it's not factoring into 
the definition of fully vaccinated. Josh G, thank you for the super chat. Three days to so my first cruise on Mariner. Very excited. Thanks for your videos. Thank you, Josh. I really appreciate you. You're going to have an awesome time. If you go on Mariner of the Seas, go visit my friend Tatiana in the bamboo room. She is fantastic. Uh, Matthew Henning. Woo! Thank you for the super chat. We're on a cruise out of LA and finishing in Vancouver. We will have to spend a night in Vancouver. After the cruise, due to an online monitor checking through Abbott, will they make sense for U.S. government entry, requirements for entry? Yes, I believe so. Um, I, as, in fact, I'm pretty sure, Matthew, that the, uh, I believe, didn't the Biden administration announce last week that like all those kind of tests, at-home tests, are now going to be like pushed forward as like a good option for everyone else, not just people going on a cruise ship? Uh, I believe it. it's just an, it's an antigen test. It's proctored. It's FDA approved. You're good to go, my friend. Absolutely. Um, let's see. Tropical Tom Garcia. We love the name. Thank you. Tropical Tom Garcia for the super chat. Tony Diaz, Mr. 730 bedtime. I, <laughs> can you hurry up? It's almost my bedtime. Appreciate you staying up late with us, Tony. You the man. And speaking of the man, whoo! Thank you for the amazing super chat. Wow. Uh, thank you. 12 man proud as always. Just curious how long Jenna's worked for the blog. Does she work full time? She's doing a great job of the videos and reviews. Thank you very much. I mean, uh, this is a little personal information on her part. I don't want to speak on her behalf, but she's been working on the, <laughs> you can go back and figure out the quality of the videos when it went from like this to like, whoop. that's when it, it it's worked. But she's been working for a number of months now and she's doing a fantastic job. We love Jenna. She's, uh, she's, she's, she just went on Navigator this year. She's not cruising until next year, but she's got a bunch of cruises already lined up. She's gotten the cruise bug. I mean, it was funny. Jenna's our YouTube editor, and she'd never been on a cruise before. And she did all these videos, and then she started going on cruises, and now she loves going on cruises, which is awesome. So we love it. Mark wants to know, how does Cruise with Confidence work? Essentially, if you book your cruise between now or any time in the past up until December 17th, 2021, Essentially, you have up to 48 hours to cancel your cruise with no penalty. If you cancel your cruise with Cruise of Confidence, you're eligible for a 100% future cruise credit. So regardless if you booked refundable or not refundable cruise fare, it does not matter. You're going to get a future cruise credit for the full value of whatever monies you paid back. And that FCC can be used towards another cruise fare. It's like a gift certificate, a voucher, if you will, for a future cruise trip. Um, it's not the same thing as a cash refund. If you want to do a cash refund, You've got to, you have to cancel before the final payment date. So hope that makes sense. Um, Travel and Irishman wants to know, do you know of any place in Miami by the port that's cheap for a COVID test? Uh, boy, I mean, I would say, I don't know about cheap. I mean, CVS and Walgreens are, I, I'm assuming by your username, Irishman, that you're not an American. So, I, you know, Walgreens and CVS, um, urgent care is usually a good fallback traveling Irishman. Um, just Google, I, um, just Google urgent care locations. You will find, uh, something over there. So, uh, all right. So we got some names for the dog. We got starboard. I like that. Starboard's kind of good. Sea dog. <laughs> Please do not name the dog map. Please do not name the dog map. Lido. That's a great name. It's more of a carnival name, but I like it. I kind of like that name. Port. Skipper, that's a great name also. Man, those are some, yeah, Skipper's, Skipper's a great name. I really like that one. Yeah, Sea Biscuit, Muster. These are some good ones right here. I like that. Jeanette Solero with a super chat. Thank you, Jeanette. Did the Royal Caribbean travel insurance cover COVID? Um, so that's a great question. Uh, Royal Caribbean, besides, let's take, take the travel insurance out of it for a second. Royal Caribbean on their own is already covering a lot of what COVID could possibly impact your cruise. What I mean by that, Jeanette, if you look up the protocols right now, and this could change, but as of right now, again, if you if you test, if you or anyone in your travel party tests positive between now, uh, within 14 days of your cruise, you're eligible for a full refund, no questions asked. Well, they're going to say, just show us that you're test positive, but no problems at all. Not like, you know, you, full refund. You can, um, you know, postpone your cruise, whatever you want to do, they'll work with you. If you test positive during the cruise, they're going to take care of you. They're going to get you home. Actually, Jeanette, they're actually flying people home on private jets at Royal Caribbean's cost. That's not through the travel insurance. This is just through Royal Caribbean on their own trying to do the right thing. Um, and they'll refund you for the lost time while you're on board the ship. 
So check out their policy. I, I, I'm paraphrasing, so this is not obviously any legally binding stuff I'm telling you, but they have a policy in place to cover those things. And the the travel insurance, in addition, is just a good idea. You slip and fall, you know, you get sick on there. Not, it's not COVID related. Yeah. Holy moly. Are you kidding me? Ooh! Holy moly. David Alvarado. Dude. Thank you so much. My God. Favorite specialty dining on Oasis, excluding Izumi. 150 Central Park. I would say 150 Central Park. We're trying to narrow it down. We already know we're dining at Izumi. Probably going to purchase a three-night dining package. I would do Izumi. I'd do 150 Central Park. And I would, well, I'd, I'd, I'd pay cash to eat a portside barbecue. Do not use your, your credit over there. That's a waste of money. Uh, number three, Playmakers. Those are my three, four, if you will. But dude, David Alvarado, my my goodness, my dude. Thank you so much. Wowie, wow, wow. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jade wants to know, I'm at gold. I'm thinking about the key. Is it worth it? All right, I'm making a note, Jade. I'm going to answer your video in a YouTube video. I'm going to do this right now. I'm going to tell Jenna we're doing this. If I can type notepad correctly. Got it. Uh, the, the short answer, Jade, is don't do it. It's a trap. I don't like the key. I don't think it's worth it. I did it uh, the other week last month on Navigator, on, uh, sorry, on Odyssey of the Seas. I don't recommend it. I don't think it's worth it. Don't do it, Jade. I'm going to have a whole video explaining why you don't need to do it. So don't do it. But yeah. Uh, Linda says slots did not pay for me. Made of over $300 donation on Harmony. Dude, Linda, Harmony of the Seas took my money too. Let me tell you something. They took, uh, Tony might've made some money. I lost all my money on Blackjack. I got, I never got so many 12s in my life than I did on Harmony of the Seas. But yeah, <laughs> slap Matt Super Chat. I don't think that was exactly what the, how the saying goes, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, so Travis Irishman, if you are an American, CVS and Walgreens is free, dude. Um, whether you have travel, whether you have insurance or not, the feds pick up the price. So uh, Walgreens or CVS would be free, and I think free is pretty cheap. Uh, so that's what I would definitely recommend um, to what to do over there. Uh, Nathaniel wants to know, at Coco Key, do you have to get a booster? I don't know what that means. Do you mean a tender? Like a, it, there's a doc. I have no idea what, what, obviously that's a typo or an autocorrect there. So Kelly wants to know, is there real Korean blog gear like this? Got my t-shirt here. Yes, there is. It's a uh, real Korean blog dot shop. S H O P. Uh, I will get you the link. Well, this is the more direct link. The shop is the easy one to remember, but what's that in the chat? There you go, Kelly. Thank you in advance. Uh, RoyalCreamBlog.shop, S-H-O-P. So. Uh, now I lost my place here. Where am I? Oh, there I am. Okay. Uh, let's see. How many different ships have I sold on, Kelly? Kelly wants to know. Uh, I don't know the number. I've not done all, all the ships on the fleet. I'm still missing Liberty. I've not been on Voyager. I've not been on Spectrum. I've not been on radiance i've not been on serenade i've not been on well wonder but nobody has um i've not been on ovation so there's still a few ships out there which is nice something to look forward to so yeah uh, jeanette says uh thank you matt i purchased travel insurance through real caribbean nothing wrong with that Jeanette. you did a, i mean the travel insurance is just a good idea to have it's a great backup like all insurance jeanette it's a waste of money until you need it. And then boy, are you happy that you have it? It's peace of mind being able to sleep at night. I think you'll thank yourself later for having that there. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Grumpy and V. I love the name lemon character and baby lemon character blowing a party horn while marching. <laughs> love that. Grumpy V. Thank you. Grumpy and V. Thank you. Brian Harkin wants to know if you have the unlimited dining pack, can I go to Zumi every night for sushi and still have dinner in the restaurants too? Yeah, it's unlimited. That is what Royal Caribbean wants you to feel like you have. So yes, absolutely. Yep. Sub Zippo is here. Hi, Matt. Wish I listened to you and bought the drink package when I knew I wanted it. The price only went up. It didn't budge on Black Friday, not the end of the world, but it's $24 loss. 
And I hate, listen, I, you know, I, I like you, Sub Zippo. I'm not here to say, I told you so. You should have listened to me, blah, blah, blah. But this is, let me tell you again, this is why I tell people book, if you, there's something in the cruise planner you want to book, whether or not it's ever going to drop in price is irrelevant. Book it now, lock in the price. If there's a better price tomorrow, next week, next month, any point between, between now and your cruise, you can cancel and rebook with no penalty. But if you don't book now and lock in the price, then you'll be like Sub, Sub Zippo and paying 24 bucks extra than you didn't have to. So again, not the end of the world, but you know. Uh, Obi says, I love this guy. He always wants me to go on vacation. There you go, Jen. Let's make that no. <laughs> let's make that the uh the the thumbnail for this video. Don't do that. That's a terrible idea, Jenna. Uh <laughs> never put my face on any thumbnails. That's a terrible idea. Sarah wasn't a why did Oasis move the comedy shows and nightclub to Blaze? So many other great venues on board, except for Blaze. So un uninviting com comedians joked about it too. Uh, you know, I, I think when you don't have a dedicated venue, you're gonna always you're gonna be compromising no matter where you go. Certainly, there are other places that might be better for it, but they picked Blaze. Um, you know, it's I, I don't have a good explanation for you. Um, I, I think that there would be a lot of uh yeah, different different uh, uh, viewpoints on there. Different venues. There's pros and cons to everything in life, and I think that's just how it fell there. Teresa says, "Let's agree to disagree." I like the king. That's all right. Listen, I like Teresa. Uh, disagree on that one, but I'll have my video. We're gonna. It's gonna be for next week. I'm pretty sure, but we'll have that video to answer about why I think. Still, don't think the key is a good idea. Aaron, for the oh, sorry, Aaron with the super chat thank you Erin. <laughs> not annoying at all recommendations for excursions in belize city so when we went to belize last time we did an excursion through uh the private journeys group private journeys is royal caribbean's uh um private shore excursion option so this is not a group tour but we went to we we I contacted private journeys and said we got two kids we want to do something special with them so they took us to the belize zoo and then we went to a restaurant for lunch and then a beach to go swimming and they loved it it was really a lot of fun because the, the the zoo was like just enough time to you know burn like an hour or two go to the restaurant have a lunch and then be able to you know relax at the beach for a little bit that was a lot of fun and that was all through royal caribbean so private journeys i'm actually doing two well i'm doing one for sure maybe two private journeys when we go to california on navigator of the seas um, in in mexico so i'll have more updates on that when we try that out but i've been a, i've done already two other uh insane what island was it? It wasn't St. Martin, was it? One of the, some some Virgin Island and um and Belize and private journeys, and it's been really, really good. What were the blackjack odds on the last cruise? Terrible. Terrible. I don't know. Whatever it was, I, I don't know how many times 12 can come up in one deck, but it came up quite a bit. Uh Brian says, Oh, we we're to answer this question for you, Brian. There you go. Uh ah, the booster shot. Uh, no, you don't have to have, um, if that's what you, the booster shot, the booster shot, uh, the booster shot does not, I don't know why Koki would have. Anyway, regardless of what cruise you're going on, the booster shot does not factor into, it doesn't matter. You don't need to have the booster shot to go on any Royal Caribbean cruise right now. Royal Caribbean's definition of fully vaccinated is the same as the CDC, which is that you had your original two shots of, or, or the Johnson and Johnson single shot. And it's been more than 14 days. The booster is great. It's a good idea. But it's not the uh, it's not a requirement by the cruise line right there. So Kelly wants to know is Studio B open for skating rather than just the ice show on Mariner? It definitely was open on Harmony because my kids went ice skating twice on there. Um, I'm not sure on Mariner if it was. I think there was like one day and we missed them. Uh, so I think the answer is yes. I could be wrong on that, but yep. Uh, James got a question for us. Uh, is there a cruise still going to Southern Caribbean in 2022? Absolutely, yes. You'll always find cruises going there from San Juan, Puerto Rico, and sometimes some longer sailings from the United States. But yes, there are cruises to Aruba, Bonaire, and Curacao. Absolutely. <clears throat> uh, Thomas is going solo this Thursday. Thomas, you're going to have an awesome time, dude. Solo cruising, you know, you get to do what you want, when you want to do it. You're going to love it. Barbara, I agree so much. I love the Playmakers food on Odyssey of the Seas. It was so good. Good, my goodness. Love that. Uh 12 Man Proud says you need new merch. Oh, merch. I think you meant the Ash. What should you have any suggestions? I mean, I got some ideas. I just 
I, I need I need a I need a merchandise coordinator. But yes, I do. Twelve man. We got to work on some new ideas here in 2020. I kind of got lax the whole pandemic and not putting out new new merchandise out there. But yes, I agree 100. percent We got to get some new designs out there. So I'll uh, on my on the many things I'll be list of things I got to do. I'll put that on there. No question about it. Uh, Chris wants to know how does an 8:30 excursion work if you dock at 8 a.m. Well, a lot of times when it comes to the excursion, that means what time you're going to report to check in. Doesn't mean you're actually getting off. But essentially, they're going to escort you off the ship right when they clear it. Um, but Royal Caribbean takes care of everything right there. If it's through Royal Caribbean, if you're not, if you're doing it on your own, well, then you're literally on your own to figure out that kind of thing. Uh, JC Spotter says, "Do you guys just cover Royal Caribbean? Or do you guys cover other branches that cover the other cruise companies?" That's a great question. So I RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com here, this YouTube channel. No, we just cover Royal Caribbean. We have a sister site, JC Spotter, called Cruise.blog. It's just cruise.blog, and that covers the entire industry. That's a new site. I start Well, it's not that new. It's about two and a half years old now. Um, maybe three. I have to look it up. Anyway, uh, that site's up and coming. It's kind of a newcomer. So if you want to check that out, that covers the rest of the industry, JC Spotter. So check that out. Uh, no, the, the Windjammer is open for dinner on ships that have at least 50% capacity, which is quite a lot. There. Um, <laughs> Jason. Oh, Jason, Jason, Jason. Listen, Vision of the Seas, the Vision class in general, serves a purpose. Not every ship can get into every port right now. So let's not uh let's not let's not throw the throw the towel in on that yet. David Alvarado, dude, my dude. Woo! I'm trying to get back to crazy stats. I don't know if you remember me from before the shutdown. Dude, not only do I remember you, you've already gotten like too crazy, like. Step away from the computer and watch like over here. Just do this. You are way too generous. Thank you so, so, so much. But of course, remember you, David. Yes. I mean, there's so many great folks. And I understand the pandemic. The last thing a lot of people were thinking about, I thought nobody would be watching, but some people stuck around. That's okay. We we had Tony Diaz here. You win some, you lose some. But, you know, throughout the shutdown, I know a lot of people kind of stepped back from cruising. And they're like, we'll come back when cruising's back. And now that it's back, people coming back to the fold. I love it. It's good to see you here, David. Thank you for your generosity, my dude. Uh, you are overly generous. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, Devin wants to know, who was the person posting blogs on Royal Caribbean Blog from the Navigator of the Seas? That was Jenna. So Jenna's our YouTube editor, uh, and uh, you've probably seen, actually, she's, she's, we've done some videos here on YouTube with her as well. She she uh, was the, what's the word? Um I can't think of like where you can only hear her voice. She wasn't the narrator, but she was a, uh, uh, anyway, she, she, you heard her voice on this one video she did about her first roller coming cruise, but that was the person who did that particular live blog on there. And I'll be doing a live blog internet permitting when I go on navigator, the seas, uh, over Christmas grumpy and V thank you for the super chat. Does perfect day cookie have specific activities just for teens? I don't think so, but I'm also, you know, the, the teen club, which would, organize the the activities don't usually advertise the activity well that's they, that's not true as long as the activities are in the cruise compass i'm not familiar with any grumpy and v that doesn't mean they don't exist that doesn't mean that when you go to the teen club on the ship that they're not saying hey by the way uh girls and boys we're gonna i don't know if they're girls and boys, whatever but they say you know we're gonna do a teens only whatever on you know play volleyball or something like that that could certainly happen but um, I, I, I'm just saying that I don't know that it's um, it's um, always a thing, if that makes sense. So, uh, Matt, uh, Joe wants to know, Matt, how is Tristan at the pub on Freedom? I think he was good. I mean, I was, I've only been on Freedom once since the shutdown, Joe. That was back in July, and I don't have a problem with it. So I think he'll be fine in, in, in that situation. Uh, Sandra says, heard from my travel agent that Royals pushed back pay off date to 30 days. Have you heard that? Yes, for cruises between now and March only, Sandra. Could that change beyond that? Sure, but as of right now, it's between November and cruises that depart in November to, to March have been pushed back to 30 days. That is accurate. Uh, David wants to know, how can you socially distance on the hot tubs on board? You have to wear a mask in the hot tub. No, in fact, wearing a mask in, in a where you, the mask can get wet is utterly useless, and Royal Caribbean knows that. So you just got to use your best judgment, honestly. They, they kind of leave it up to you, quite frankly. Uh, Tori wants to know, can you cancel an, an add on like a drink package to get your money back? Or would you just get a credit? Nope. You get your money back. If you cancel it before the cruise, Tori, they just issue a refund a couple days later to your credit card. So it's definitely cash back in that situation. Um, we got some super chats to catch up on here. I'm sorry. Betty Egan again, coming in with a super chat. 
Uh, Royal Caribbean is going out of Barbados next March. Thank you for reminding me about that. I forget was that um gosh, was it Enchantment of the Seas? It wasn't Grandeur again. But you're right, I forgot about that. Yep. There's always so yes, there's always uh Southern Caribbean cruises. Betty, thank you for reminding me about that. I do appreciate that. And dude, my dude, the legend, 12th man proud. <laughs> What a guy. Would it be worth using private journeys in San Juan? Yes. Private journeys works everywhere. You know what I love about private journeys is it's about doing what you want with a tour that kind of takes you through the whole, they do all the hard work in terms of like planning it all out, getting you in the places, taking care of admission, getting you from point A to point B and back. I love it because what allows you to do 12th man is you can do a, basically a Royal Caribbean shore excursion with all the benefits of a Royal Caribbean shore excursion, but you customize it the way that you want to do it. And it's just your own group. We just did a couple of tours when we were on Harmony of the Seas. We did two group tours, traditional shore excursions. And listen, uh, group excursions are not terrible, but they're just not my style anymore. They move at a slow pace. There's a lot of hurry up and wait. And it's just, it's inefficient to, to my liking personally. Now, I might be saying, well, I'm willing to, to do a private journey shore excursion because it allows us to move at, a, at our own pace and do what we want to do when we want to do it, but still do a Royal Caribbean excursion. So yeah, there's a couple things you want to do or so you want to go somewhere that's a little further away out of your comfort level because there's a, there's a big world in Puerto Rico beyond San Juan and there's a lot of cool things to do there. So I would say absolutely, yeah. There's something I've always wanted. You know, it's funny you mentioned this, 12th Man. There's something I've always wanted to do in San Juan. Uh, maybe we'll do that when we go on one of my cruises coming up that we're stopping there. There was, I remember there is some like natural water slides. Like there's a... There's a, maybe it's in El Yunque, which is the rainforest, but there is like a park and there are these like rivers, small little, not rivers, but uh, creeks or whatever that form like almost water slides. I remember seeing a uh, Royal Caribbean did like a video of them like years ago and I've always wanted to do that. So I'll have to check that out. But uh, t Tony Diaz, we love Tony Diaz. <laughs> Good seeing you here. Um, Jason says, what's cracking is a must have t-shirt. I think, well, I don't know if I can use the word crack. I mean, granted, I'm using realcoreanblog.com. That's a different story. But um, you never know. You never know. I had, a, I had a, you know what's funny is I had a t-shirt design that I made up and it was with Cafe Promenade. It was a Starbucks logo, but I replaced, you know, it looked like the Starbucks logo, but it was, it's a Cafe Promenade. And I had this, anyway, anyway the, they got the, the people at Spreadshirt pulled that down for copyright infringement. I'm like, I mean, I guess, but not really. It didn't say Starbucks on there at all. It didn't have the mermaid. Just had a cup of coffee and a green background that looked like Starbucks anyway. Didn't pass muster on that one. Excursion recommendations for daredevils in Nassau? I don't know what you mean by daredevils. I'm assuming you want to jump off a cliff. There are not many cliffs in Nassau. I, I mean, I would say Cabbage Beach. Is that, it's not a daredevil. It's just a great beach. It's a little out of the way to go to. I might say Cabbage Beach. I'm trying to think. It's like I really don't know what you'd would be considered a daredevil thing. I don't have a good answer for you. Maybe someone in our chat does, but yep. Uh, Monty loves going to St. Thomas. Do they have a good beach we should do? Oh yeah, Megan's Bay. Megan's Bay. That's without a doubt where you want to go. 100%. Yep. Uh, Brian wants to know, is Johnny Rockets, especially the milkshakes, included with the dining package? Milkshakes, no. Johnny Rockets, yes. Uh, the milkshakes are included with the drink package. But not the dining package. So, yep, you're good to go on that one. How does free dining work? Uh, do you mean the complimentary dining boat, like um, on a ship? Basically, if you go to a restaurant like the main dining room, the Wind Jamer, uh, Cafe Promenade, Sorrento's, you just go up there. There's no bill. It's all included in your cruise fare. You're good to go. Um, and you go, depending on the location, like, the wind jammer, which is the buffet or cafe promenade. Those are open many hours of the day. You just simply walk in when you want to eat there, grab something and you're on your way. Um, the main dining room has set hours and you'll either be in my time dining, which you could select your times ahead of time. It's like you can select pre-range times, you make a reservation or simply show up and wait for a table. Or you can do traditional dining in which you have the set table, set time every day of your cruise. It's always the same time, same table mates, same waiter. And uh, that's an option as well. So that's a really basic version right there. How do you hook up with private journeys? Um, just Google it. There's a form to fill out on Royal Caribbean's website. It's on Royal Caribbean's website to check it out. So, uh, holy moly, Tommy K with 
a currency. I have no idea. This could be five bucks or it could be 200 bucks, but thank you, Tommy. I think you're, you're getting this sound just in case. <laughs> Based on the color, I'm guessing it's, I don't know what it means, but thank you. It's, it's not even that it doesn't matter. It's about the generosity and the thought. Thank you, Tommy. 47 days till next cruise has been uh, a thousand days in the last one. Yikes. The countdown is real. Plan to fly to Miami the day before. Does Rokin have shuttles from the airport, the cruise terminal? Thanks for all the work you do. If you're flying in the same day of your cruise, which I don't recommend, yes, it's called Royal Caribbean Transfers. Um, you just talk to your travel agent. They can book one for you. Um, if you are coming in before your cruise, which like more than a day ahead of time, which I recommend, then they don't. But you can use Lyft or Uber which or, or a taxi to get you from your hotel to the uh, cruise terminal. That'd be totally fine right there. Yeah, I'll post the link. To, uh, Scott wants to know the link to the private journey. Sure. Hold on a second. Private journeys. It's just a form to fill out and they contact you. So they tell them Matt sent you. They'll be like, who? I'll tell them Matt sent you. Trust me when I say, didn't, never tell Royal Caribbean Matt sent you. It's never a good start for you. <laughs> Oh goodness! Hello there. It says found you from watching Emma live the other day. Yeah, we had a great. I don't know if you guys, you guys caught it last Friday. This past Friday, I did a live chat with Emma. Uh, Emma Cruises. This is my second time doing a live chat with her. She's been on my podcast episodes a couple times. But anyway, Emma's wonderful. We had a nice, a friendly chat about cruising, and uh, it was a lot of fun. So thank you for for following me over here. I appreciate it. Uh, Ryan, thank you for the super chat, buddy. How far in advance do excursions start showing up in the cruise planner going to September? Not a lot showing up yet. Uh, it's a great question. And thank you for your generosity with the Super Chat, Ryan. The answer is it depends. There is no set timeline. It's not like, oh, Ryan, X days in advance, you will get all the short excursions. Sometimes they, they're, one day the more will appear. And sometimes it comes over a long period of time. It's, there's no really set pattern to it, unfortunately. So yeah, it kind of is what it is right there. So. Uh, James wants to go to Alaska. Know of any good prices and when sailing? Yeah. So the 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 key to getting a really good price in Alaska, and again, it depends on what a good price means. The cheapest prices are always in the shoulder season. So the first month or the last month of the season, May or September, you'll find great rates. Why? Well, kids are in school, and it's the end of the season. It's a little bit colder than it is during, like, say, June, July, and August, which is the peak of the season. So that's a good place to start right there. If you're looking for truly, um, you know, lower prices. Yeah, but for the the thrill seeker dude, scuba. Um, I don't think they do they. They must have zip lining. I don't think they have ATVing in Nassau. But those are all great suggestions. So maybe start googling around. Hello, Derek. It's good to see you. First, Sergeant Richard. Thank you for the super chat, buddy. Appreciate it. Favorite food at Coco Beach Club, the filet mignon. It is the best filet anywhere in Royal Caribbean, Richard. I'm not even talking about like island. I'm talking about the cruise ships. Like it's better than shops. Better than 150 Central Park, the best steak on Royal Caribbean is at the Cocoa Beach Club. Thank me later. I will be there 34 days. Also, check out my new picture in your honor. Dude, Alf, we love that. Look at that. You made it, buddy. That's awesome. It's always good to see ML Mackian represented in the avatar, which is right here. Oh, it's hard to see that. It's right. This is a lot harder than it looks to do right there. Thank you, buddy. Uh, Teresa recommends in Nassau, they have ATV or Jeep tours. Ooh, you know what? I'm in, next time I'm in, uh, next time I'm in Nassau, I'm going to post a, uh, I'm going to do an ATV tour. I think that's fun. I've done, I did one in, in, uh, uh, Bonaire and I loved it. It was a lot of fun. All right. We got time for a couple more questions, guys. So we got to run out of here. Danny D. Mateo, 132 days, 132 days till boarding harmony. How was the Broadway show, ice show and aqua show? Thank you, Matt. Fantastic. Uh, when we were on board, uh, we only saw some of the shows because they were not showing The Fine Line and Columbus the Musical, which are my favorites. The Fine Line is the best show in the in the Aqua show. The other one, The Hideaway, whatever it is, is okay. Uh, the Ice Show, there's 1887, and there is Ice Skate. Ice Skate is the better show. And the Broadway show, I mean, you know, uh, Grease is the word. It's It's the word for a reason. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's really, really good. They're really talented folks out there. So, yep. So appreciate it. Yeah. We love Emma. Emma is so nice. It, Emma is exactly the same person on the air that you see in person. She is wonderful. 
So, yep. Uh, Vincent, first time, long time viewer, first time live. Welcome, Vincent. Thank you so much for joining us here. Appreciate it. Uh, Bur Burko 2003. If I book a jet skiing a perfect day with a partner, one of us is a driver, one of us is a passenger, can we switch off driving in the middle of the excursion? I have no idea. That's an excellent question. I've never done this before, and I, I don't recall someone t telling me this. I, my assumption would be no, but maybe someone in our chat can can confer on that. Worst case, you could always just you know talk to them on on board the ship about that, ask that question, and if they say no, then you can probably still cancel the, the excursion. So, Igneous Hammer, what a great name! Thank you for the super chat. Three days to Coco Key or seven days? With, what? Do you mean like should, do you want to do a three day cruise to Coco Key or a seven day cruise to Coco Key? Always seven. It's always better to have the longer cruise. Ah, so I had no idea. So SEC is Swedish Croan. I learned something today. Thank you. Appreciate it. No, I will not do a Swedish accent. <laughs> the guy just gave me a, a super chat. Uh, Jose, do you have a video of the Royal Naval Dockyard in Bermuda? I don't have a video. No, I don't think so. So I'm going to go with no. Scott wants to know, do you know what the capacity will be for Oasis January 2nd? No, Royal Caribbean is not divulging what capacity will be in advance for their cruises. So... Unfortunately not. Gretchen, my family's going on our first cruise leaving from Galveston. Do you have any tips or things we should know for parking, boarding the cruise? Uh, always park at the cruise terminal. I know it costs more than parking offsite. Trust me when I say it's worth the convenience factor, especially when the cruise is over. You can just drive home without waiting for a shuttle or anything. Park at the terminal. Um, otherwise, the, the thing we want to do, Gretchen, down, right now, well, maybe not right, wait for the video to be over. Download the Royal Caribbean app. Make sure you do install the Royal Caribbean app on your phone and then do all the check-in options you can. Upload your photo. Scan your passport, take a photo of your vaccine cards, do every step for every person. It makes the whole process super easy. That's my recommendation for you. No question about it. You'll have a great time. Uh, James wants to know, are they still restricting passengers from traveling without Royal Caribbean chaperones? It depends on the port. Some ports, yes. Some ports, no. It depends on the port, James. So uh, it, it depends on that one. So uh, Tim Gallagher, you are very welcome, my friend. Appreciate it. Uh, oh, Linda wants to know, stand up. What does your shirt say? It says, this shirt loves to cruise. There you go. It's available at royalcaribbeanblog.shop, S-H-O-P. Ladies and gentlemen, we got to wrap things up here. We've been alive for over an hour. Thank you so much for everybody for checking us out today. Big thank yous to Ignatius Hammer for the super chats. Danny DiMatteo, thank you for the super chat. First Sergeant Richard, thank you for the super chat. Ryan, thank you for the super chat. Tommy K from Sweden, thank you for the super chat. Uh, Total Land Proud, my dude, thank you for the super chat. Betty Eakin, thank you for the super chat. Grumpy and V, great name, thank you for the super chat. David Alvarado, my dude, thank you for the super chat. Erin, thank you for the super chat. Grumpy and V, thank you again for the super chat. Uh, David Alvarado, dude, thank you so much for your generosity tonight. It's good to see you again. Jeanette Solero, thank you for the super chat. 12th Man Proud again, dude, thank you for the super chat. The legend. Tony Diaz, thank you for the super chat. Tropical Tom, thanks for the super chat. Matthew Henning, thank you for the super chat. Josh G, thank you. Jade P, thank you. Joanne Griffith, uh, let us know what you named the dog, by the way. Thank you. David Alvarado, again, thank you for the super chat. Sharon Stockman, thank you so much, Sharon. Good to see you as always. Uh, Chuck Egg Arlaw, thank you for the super chat. Brenna, thank you for the super chat. Tai Wu Lee, thank you for the super chat. The Teresa McChain, thank you for the super chat. Ethel Crawford, thank you for the super chat. Jason Rivas, thank you for the super chat. John Grachowski, thank you for the super chat. Tom, thanks for the super chat. Matt Rurick, thank you for the super chat. Shannon A, thank you for the super chat. Amanda Rosario, thank you for the super chat. Joe Mock, Mazel Tov, thank you for the super chat. David Alvarado, again, do thank you for the super chat. Ethel Crawford, thank you for the super chat. Kenny K, thank you for the super chat. Jeff Rent, thank you for the super chat. It's been a while since I saw you as well. We got David back, Jeff Rent back, love it. Matt Manuvich, thank you for the super chat. David Alvarado, again, do thank you for the super chat. Betty Eakin. Thank you for the super chat. Eric Moyer, thank you for the super chat. Vicky Belleville, thank you for the super chat. Kelly Fiesel, thank you for the super chat. And Vincent Mono, starting us off even before the broadcast with the super chat. Thank you so, so much. And we have another one coming. Are you kidding? What? Sharon Stockman again. Save your money for Oasis. We'll join Monday from Oasis of the Seas. Have an awesome time, Sharon. You are going to love it. Thank you so much, Sharon. Thank you to everybody for checking us out here. Um, realcreamblog.com. There's still plenty more Real Caribbean news, information, fun advice waiting for you over there. When we're not live here, we're over at realcreamblog.com. There are like three new blog posts up there. Tomorrow, we've got a new YouTube video coming out as well, right here on our YouTube channel, podcast episodes, message boards, 
plenty to keep you entertained between now and our next live broadcast here on YouTube. Until then, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us here. This has been Matt. Thank you again for joining. I really, really appreciate your time. Have a great week, everybody. Stay safe out there. Do something fun, like maybe book a cruise. And we'll talk again very soon right here on YouTube. Good night, everybody.